Oh, hello. <sighs> Why is it not starting? Start, fool! Okay, there we go. Hello. Greetings. Sorry for the slightly late start. Apologies. Me and Bethram were, uh... Thought we had a very easy exit and hunt, and then we got followed right towards the end and got shot at. So we, we were like, what the fuck? And we had to have a bit of a shootout. As, as, as tradition dictates, it's not paranoia, there's always someone out to get you. And it's true, there was in fact someone out to get us. Hello Jstar, yeah it's been a while, how you been? Hi everybody, hello. Greetings. What have I done? Your September recap, Halloween 4545. Let's see what you achieved together throughout September. What did I do? I streamed for two days and nine hours. Oh, it is me. Your top emotes are Huey Jam, the high emote, and the York emote. We used the Huey Jam 1,045 times. That's quite exciting, isn't it? There was 24,000 messages sent. In the month. That's not bad, is it? I streamed 30 times in September. That seems unlikely, because I'm pretty sure I took a couple of days off. Total months subscribed, 69! Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
medical, uh, sorry, medicinal, medical journals, most of them very old. This one mentions balancing the four humours. Lots of stuff about bile and phlegm. Probably not going to rely on these for first aid. Not unless you're big on leeches. I definitely need to avoid slipping on these. That'd be humili a humiliating way to hurt myself. Shouldn't shank crabs, they might shank you back. They will, they'll cut you. How are you been getting on with uh, Caliban, Ollie? Do you do any more? They definitely have to lie. Tell Torres is an elaborate trap I narrowly avoided or something. Skeletan. Whoa, I've never actually seen one of these in person. Fully articulated and everything. Kind of like a giant action figure. This wouldn't be a real skeleton, right? In our uh, in our medical center at work, we actually have a real a real articulated skeleton of a real person. It's actually quite cool. I shook his hand. Or her hand, I don't know. Their hand. Oh, you done some Demos stuff for what for the um, event? Yeah, get get yourself some cool swag. There's a there's a cool gun and a cool melee weapon, but there's also the spooky bat thing you can get, which is fun. Look at these happy skeletons. Rude. The pain scale between zero and ten. This is this is just my average day at work. I start here, and as the day progresses, we end up here. A visual paint scale. I think they're most used for kids. I hope no kids have ever seen this one. It's just dark here. Yeah. Organs. This anatomy model is missing its organs. They must be around here somewhere. Oh, I mean, obviously, it's a spooky mansion. Oh, look, we've got a stomach. Yay. I don't need a stomach, because I have triangular boobies. Under the sink, there is books. Terrible place to keep books. We got some lungers. It's a model liver, and it's right next to a large red button. Very subtle. Press button. Th some dials. I don't want those to yet. It's jammed. We got any more organs around? There's a sharp spin. I think I saw a few of these in the closet. Now I know where they're coming from. There's a sharp spin. Well, I guess it's a biohazard bin. By the way, with these hypodermics, my first thing I would suggest is we take them carefully. You pick up the bit over here, stand a decent distance away, pick it up carefully, move it into the sharp spin. Get the next one, move it into the sharp spin. We don't want to walk around with fucking needles. I've added the organs. Still missing some organs. wonder where we're going to find these missing organs. I checked all the drawers, right? Empty jar labelled brain. I haven't seen one of those lying around. And I'm hoping I can keep saying that. Hmm. So we need to find, I'm guessing for this puzzle. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this dial. Maybe we need to get them all to the... Ah, okay. Hello, oh, T-Baby. But who was phone? Oh, nice! Model heart. Gribbly. Ew. It squirted. Added brain. And now I can add brain to jar. Place the brain in the jar. Oh, he's happy and moved. Isn't that nice? Holy! What is this place? And things popping up behind me. One freak show at a time. Brain first, then skeleton. Ugh. Fine, skeleton. Got it. Skull. Skull. There we go. Skeleton, skull together again. Now hopefully it starts following me around. Have we got to match the, uh... 
I'm not sure which one we want, really. Do we want this one or this one? Skull. Hey, nice you done, TBB. Don't give up, Skeleton. It's the same from different angles, in which case we want the arm to be up. Like so. With its with his hand flat ways. Well this arm is straight. And I can't quite tell what that's doing with the Is the hand that way? It feels like the hand is that way as opposed to yeah. It doesn't feel like it's it feels like it's over rather than under. It's a terrible picture. So this one's got his leg bent like that, and the other one seems straight. So this is the leg bent leg. So this is like that. This leggy seems straight. That's what it looks like to me, but... Oh. Yeah! Na 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 na! Thank you, Skeleton. Um, thanks, I guess. I'm not even going to question this. Stop looking at me. I'm on to you, Skeleton. Hello? Help me! Oh my god, no! Poison, need antidote. Oh god, oh no! Taurus, Taurus! Alex, what's going on? Th there's a woman here, she's been poisoned. I think she's trying to fix it, but she passed out? Poison, that's... God, there's some something oozing out of her mouth and nose. Ooh, does it? What do I do? Alex, stop. Remember, everything in this godforsaken house is a puzzle. There's an answer, you can work it out. Right, yeah. <laughs> They've uncovered us, rattle them, boys! Have I heard of fear? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know fear. TPB, yeah. Where are you? What do you see? Uh, I'm in some kind of nightmare surgery room. There's tools and equipment everywhere. Everything is covered in grime. It's disgusting. Okay, Alex. If she's poisoned, you're going to need an antidote. I mean, there's a big thing on the wall about antidote. What? I'm not a scientist. I don't know anything about any of this. But you're good at figuring out with these rooms. Work with what you have. I'm sure all the if is in there. But I... Remember you could... Uh, everyone. Taurus? Hello? Static. God damn it. Okay, Alex. You can do this. I don't know how long she'll last. I've got to work fast. Original from... Antidote from original poison. Snack. Nightlock. And... Tube. Synthesized from blood. Blood equals universal binder. Got some needles. Okay. We've got a centrifuge. Right, that's what we need. So we need to find... Clean beakers. I guess I can mix the antidote here. Okay, so we need... She's not looking so good. I have to make an antidote. There's got to be something I can use around here. Well, let's use one of these to get the blood. I need a blood sample. I've done it blood before, so I'm sure I can figure it out. First, I'll roll up her sleeve. Tube! Oh, that does not look right. Is that some kind of rash? This almost looks green. One thing at a time. First, the blood. I'll keep the rash in mind, though. Drawn blood. Okay, that was not as easy as to make it look, but that should be enough. Gabbles, forceps, beakers, nothing useful here, unless I'm planning on cutting her open, which I'm not. Got a stethoscope. Okay, not sure how handy that will be. Chemicals. These look important. I'll grab the ones that have any of their contents left. Alpha, Kappa, and Phi. Okay. 
Variety of medicines for different stuff. It looks like it's all years out of date. Okay, do I have enough what I need to work with here? Orange chemical, a yellow chemical, and a red chemical. I got blood and clean needles. I can use it to check her heart. Does we something I can use around here? Use the stethoscope. Let's see how your heart's doing. Hey, Bumpkin. Bonk, bonk. Hey, Holly. She's wheezy, otherwise her heart sounds okay. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Centrifuge ready. Just making that centrifuge. I think it'll show the separation results if I use it. I need snack. Again, it's it's all about blood as a universal binder. I'm not sure what the binder is. This could be useful. The problem is I don't know what any of these chemicals are off the top of my head, so fine. I can separate fluid here, use the centrifuge. This doesn't look good through the centrifuge, I don't think it will split into anything. This one will though. I've, sh I've streamed um, uh, Alice before as well. Centrifuge report. One, alpha element. Two, kappa element. I've already got those, it's good to know I can get strapped more this way. The cap element. Hey. hey, banana. Okay, fine. Yellow chemical, red chemical. I can mix necessary chemicals here. I don't know if I got what I need, though. I'm not entirely sure. I guess I can just wing it and see. Mix chemicals. Well, this one has yellow and red. I think they both had yellow and red, right? This doesn't go through it, so I can't split anything. This doesn't go through it, I can't split anything. This is the only one that does. I think I'm missing something obvious here, but... Okay, I can stop there. Do I need to add anything else? Add another ingredient. Okay, I can stop there. Let's try that, I guess. Blood in the centrifuge. Antidote, question mark. Well, this just bin her. I should probably save it before doing this. I, if I've mixed it right, she'll be fine in no time. If I'm wrong, it can't be wrong. It's not an option. Okay, this is right. She should wake up, throw up, and be fine. Here we go. I think she's probably going to die. Rip. That's why I saved it first. I don't think that's right, but I want to see what happens, I guess. Rip. Oh no! Oh no! What a shame. Hold on. Oh, can I not go back to the menu? You've gone a while. Hold on, let me just skip this. I think we're gonna... We skip it. Hold on. Let me just reload it. I don't know, I don't quite know what the puzzle is. Like, that, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit confused with what, what it wants from that room. Has anyone else got any ideas? 
It doesn't make an awful lot of sense to me with the way it was. Blood in the centrifuge. What, her blood? To see what the poison is, maybe? And then use the poison as a base? Let's see then. Hey, I'm on. I do like you can just randomly inject her. Centrifuge report. Plasma, leukocytes in platelets, erythrites in a heavy element. Heavy element, that's not right at all. I ain't got the fucking foggiest. I really don't. There must be some... L l surgical arms. No idea what this thing is, but I'll leave it alone. I must be missing some logic somewhere. These scrapes are caused by the shelf. Maybe I should take... Ooh. It's kind of heavy. I think I can move it. Yeah. Wait, did someone manage to break it out? This doesn't look intentional. They just covered it up. Uh, that's me. Oh my god, what happened? They must have had the same poison trap. Looks like they were trying to escape, it didn't make it. There's a note. It's hard to read, there's something about fucking up. They use the last of the blue chemical. They synthesized antidote in a syringe gun. It hasn't been used. It feels correct, why did they not take it? Found antidote. Can definitely use this though. This probably looks like... No, I can't think about that right now, I'm seeing things. Okay, so we've now got a blue one. I guess we stick the blue one in the centrifuge. Let's see what's in it. Kappa and tau. Alright, now I have the blue tau chemical. Okay, we got tau now. What's the scribble note, sorry? It looks like a variety of characters are crossed out. At the bottom, the alpha symbol is circled repeatedly. It's all written over itself. I can just about make it that they used the last of the chemical towel. Something about too many attempts and they were too late. So you could say alpha and tau, maybe? Is that the implication? The alpha circle is re done repeatedly. Okay. Should I? I have to get rid of my current one. Sure. A red chemical alpha. I need one more element. Tau. I can stop there. Do I need to add anything else? Blood is the universal binder, right? So I need the blood as well. I guess we could try that. Antidote. Then I can stick this in the thing and see what's in it, right? Oh. Send thy thousand from blood. Blood is the universal binder. That's got three things. Maybe implying that there should be three. This, this one seems a bit more difficult to get than the other puzzles we've seen thus far, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a big dum-dum. I don't know how I'd synthesize the blood from here, but... No books or anything to read? No, not like I can see. I did, I said to choose the blood, the blood already, like her, her blood, like, you stick it in there and it tells you there's, um... Oh, 
plasma, leukocytes and platelets, erythrocytes, and a heavy element. The heavy elements can be the poison, I would assume, but... But it doesn't really tell me much about anything else. I'm not quite sure the post is implying, because there's no... If it was, like, colours or something, I could... Because that looks like Nightlock or something, right? Berries. Obviously, Snack Venom, and... I'm assuming that's a test tube, but... Some sort of metal poisoning, I would guess. But, I mean, they've got some sort of green poisoning here. I don't know what that's implied to be. There's lots of reading out of time. What should I focus on? Oh! Ah. Arrhythmia. That's heart, um, heart things. So these are about heartbeats. If it's a regular, you want to use the binder element kappa. Dermatology. Our skin rashes are a great sign of telling how a person reacting. Red and rashy is something irrelevant. Almost green is bad. The tau element must be administered at a long time of binding catalyst. If it's a regular, you want to use binding kappa. Let's have a listen to a heartbeat again then. And that sounds pretty normal. She's wheezy but the heart seems to find. So it's not it's not gonna be that then. Green is bad. The tau element must be administered alongside a binding catalyst. So that's tau and blood. An alpha. So alpha, I think we might have done it, yeah. Let's try it. Try not to rip through. Okay, this is it, lady. You're going to open your eyes and barf everywhere, and you'll be fine. Here we go. Oh. She opened her eyes and barfed everywhere. Hooray! That was one of the trickier ones. I don't know. That one, unlike some of the other puzzles, that one feels a little bit messier than the other so far. But it was a, it was a smidge fiddly. Here we go. There. Oh, thank God! And I've been so happy to see so much vomit. Oh, my stomach, my head. I don't know which is worse. Ha! Huh. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you so so much. I'm just glad you're not dead. Just take it slow, okay? Find out you were AP bio class. Find out what this person is sick. Oh god. And then just sort of roll from there. It feels like there was a tip missing. Or something just felt a little bit uh, a little bit awkward. I feel the post added more confusion than anything else, but You've been through a lot and uh Oh wow, my hand won't stop shaking. Okay, this comes as a shock to you, but you've been uh kidnapped, so I know. You you know? Couldn't move, couldn't speak, but I was aware. I woke up on this table and the voice over the speakers told me it said there was only one way out, told me what I'd been dosed with. Thank god you know to use my blood as a binder or That's uh whew, that makes my skin crawl. Wait, how do you know what to do? Are you like a scientist? A doctor, actually. My name is Ruth. I'm really, really glad to meet you. Oh, I'm Alex. It's nice to meet you too. Um though I sort of wish we weren't meeting. Not here anyway. Right. Alex. Alex, what can you tell me about this place? Why are you here, and who did this? Oh boy. Well, some of that I think we can help with, but all we've got are questions too. We? Yeah, can you walk? You can lean on me if you want to, but we should go. We have introductions to make. Yeah, I just wear this lab coat for funsies. Yeah, so so. We did it. Yay! Alex, you're back. Hey, yeah, this is Ruth. Hello? I knew you could pull it off. Hello, Ruth. I'm Torres. Oh, the wibbly is a little bit overdone, and that's that's always the problem with the wibble effect on 
when they're faking PlayStation 1 look. Like, if you look at something like Metal Gear Solid, yes, it wobbles, but it doesn't wobble quite like this. It's it's not... The texture warping is not is a little bit too much, probably. I've been catching her up a little bit, but it seems like she was in the same situation as us. No memory of getting here and waking up trapped in a surgical suite. Only she was poisoned. That's a pretty specific theme. Yeah, well, I'm a doctor. ER surgeon, specifically. Or, well, I was. Was? Ha, ah, well, what the hell, it's not like you're a cop, right? Not anymore. Ex-cop. Oh, well, I'm an ex-doctor. The hospital board and I had a disagreement. Oh? You know how many people I saw get turned away? Bankrupted because they couldn't afford care? Oh, this is an American problem! Right. Yeah, that, that always blows. You guys should really fucking sort that out. That's- it's legitimately terrible. Bankrupted because they couldn't afford care? Friend of mine didn't come in for help when they should have, and now they're gone. Board says we're not a charity, says we can't treat people for free. Yeah, so there's this crazy thing where people pay taxes, and the tax money goes towards universal healthcare, then that pays for healthcare that you might need at some point in the future. It's- it's insane, I know, but... Who would have thunk? They say a lot of things with their leather chairs and expensive cars. I don't think that's true, so I started helping some people from home. Just, you know, first age, stitches and the light. People kept needing more help, and those people told other people. A little kindness can grow like a wildfire. Eventually, I couldn't keep treating that many people out of my kitchen. Found myself some abandoned storage space, and got some basics from the sympathetic folks, and voila, the little clinic that could. All for free? You're damn right for free. Righteous, but illegal. I was always ready... That's the wrong person talking, right? That should be Alex. No, that should be Ruth talking, instead of Taurus, I think. I was always ready for the cops to come knocking, but... But this? This is a whole new level of crazy. This is evil. Yeah. Feels like it, doesn't it? I don't get it. That's basically making you a hero. You help people. Wow, this really got fucked up in this cutscene, didn't it? Like... Well, it turns out you're harder to kill than anyone thought, at least. No, if you hadn't come along, I probably never would have woken up. You saved my life, Alex. Oh, it was nothing. Not saving a life, I mean. Your life is worth everything. I mean, I didn't, uh... Look, I'm glad you're both okay. We seem to get out of here. We can save the awkward bonding for later. Or never. Things here are wrong. I mean, more than the kidnapping and stuff. I keep thinking I see things and hear things. We're all under a lot of stress, Alex. We're jumping at shadows. What do you mean, we? You guys are sitting on the couch! Besides that gas they tried to offer me with, they might have drugged us too. I don't think it was a phys I don't think I was physically knocked out. I'm guessing we were dosed with something. It's probably still in our system. Oh, a voice redeem. I'm sorry. Oh, Colonel, I manipulated time to keep poisoning a woman because I'm so useless. But how will doctors become millionaires like that? Yeah, seriously. Although, ironically, most of the time it's not the doctors making the money. It's the doctors get paid a wage and it's the hospital that takes the money. So, it. I mean, I think it's sometimes it's really a lose-lose. The doctors do genuinely want to help people, but, you know. I wonder if you go back to that course, but still look like Alex. That's an interesting point. We should have a look. Who knows? Maybe they want us seeing things that aren't there. Maybe it's more fun for them. Freaks. I don't know, maybe. All the more reason to get out of here as fast as we can. Yeah, okay, let's keep at it. Elementary, save Ruth. Alright. So, what made you want to be a detective? We're trapped inside a mansion filled with elaborate death traps. Sicko's watching us via Sicko's- Yes! Sicko's watching us via surveillance cameras, and you want to chit-chat? Look, I've been running around all over this place. I could use a breather. Help take my mind off everything for a minute or two. Besides, I'm curious about you. Did you, you know, always know what you wanted to do? I'm having trouble picturing you as anything other than a very intense child. Uh, well, not always, no. But I guess I've always liked puzzling things out, chasing things down. And I've never been able to stand it. How some people get away with something that hurts other people. Sounds like a story. <laughs> what a story, Torres. Not really, there was no big pivotal moment or anything. Other than a general simmering resentment of the overall state of the world. Of course. There was a time when I thought maybe I could work in the family bakery. It just didn't work out. What happened? 
I just didn't have the patience for it. All that fiddly careful work wasn't for me. And, well, like you said, I've always been intense. After the third time I made a kid cry, I had to face up the fact I just wasn't made for sugar and customer service. When we get out of here, I gotta see your baby photos. So we've still got a lion key, right? And that's it so far. Let's talk to Ruth quickly and see if they've got any new things to say. How are you feeling, Alex? Not lightheaded? Dizzy? Hey, I'm not the person who started her night pump full of poison. Surprisingly, apart from smelling like vomit and really needing a stiff drink, I think I'm okay. Better than Detective Torres, anyway. Is she okay? I mean, really okay? Best as I can tell, it's driving me crazy not to have any of my equipment here. I don't think I trust anything from back in that clinic you found me in. Not even the stethoscope! I think the stethoscope would be alright. So, sorry, tax doctors for military spending only. That's true, I mean, you wouldn't want to, like, you know, use good money you could shoot people with as opposed to treat them. In order to make your hospital bill go away because the hospital was at fault for you, you had to talk to the HR department. That's kind of crazy as well, dude. Right. Like, don't be wrong, like, there, there is, there's, the English healthcare, or the British healthcare, isn't perfect. Like, I mean, I like work in it, right? Like, it's, it's not perfect, but it, it's, it's a damn sight better than the alternative. Still, I'm glad you're here. Stethoscopes and tongue depressors aside, it makes me feel a bit better to have a doctor around. Ha, huh, really? It's hard to feel like I'm being useful with you running around the place for us. You know, I never did care for those escape room things. This just clinched it. I've never actually been in one of those. My sister's kids took them on for me for my 40th. You know, I have three degrees and that place made me feel like an idiot. I will also say that having worked with a lot of doctors, um, some of them just, they're really good at being doctors and shit at everything else. You know, just saying. Picture it. Me, down on my hands and knees, trying to figure out how to use a rubber duck to decode a message in Morse code. Turns out you were supposed to use the duck to unlock the coffin, which was behind the phone booth to get to the xylophone, and use that as the decoder. Wow, that's, uh, a lot. Nothing compared to everything you told me about this place. You see, I'm happy you're the one solving the puzzles. Well, so far we haven't hit anything that sounds like, you know, that, not good. When we get out of here, I'll still buy that drink. Sweetheart, when we get out of here, I'm buying all of us the whole damn bar. Alright. And I guess we should talk to, um, Charles. So, uh, don't do this the wrong way, but, uh, I don't think I ever realised Historian was an actual job. You know, outside of action movies. Ah, well, uh, sadly widespread sentiment, if that isn't tenured, I assure you. And you study demons, why? Why not? Religious studies are a vital step in understanding humanity's history. Besides, the lore and mythos surrounding demonic entities is fascinating. I mean, he's right, it is quite interesting, isn't it? No, we cult guy was just at the back, just chilling out. Have you done escape room stuff, are you? Is if it's, wait, where's his fedora? He doesn't have to have a fedora. He looks like he hasn't slept though, which looks about right. He made nap for an escape room once, but they uh, didn't really know what to do with it. So eventually, they got a weird Tetris mini game. That's actually quite funny. They're like, "We want an app for what though? We want an app." Okay. Not just the entities themselves, mind, but often what they were meant to represent to people. The impetus behind each one's creation. Uh, I guess not. Sorry, never really thought about it much. Unless you count movies like Abattoir of Blood or something. Ah, personally, I always enjoyed the sixth instalment. Avatar of Blood, Bride of the Blood Monster. Criminally overlooked. Wow, I wouldn't have taken you for a schlocky horror movie buff. Oh, absolutely! Make a note for when we get out of here. Remind me to loan you my copy of Song of the Corpse Maiden. The subtitle import is far superior. Ha, <laughs> sure, Charles. When we get out, that's the first thing on my list. Alright, so I guess we keep looking around the place now. There's a skull. Alright, uh... It's jammed. So we got upstairs. So we got that door. That's Charles's spooky room. Hey, Skeleton. Oh, oh, we can't go back in. Boo. Scam. Oh, wait, do I have to move, me, move the head again? Will it now open up again? 
Nah, which we can't check the body. Okay, so what else have we... Surgery looks like sugary, and I was getting really confused for a second. Delicious sugary. Is there any other doors? We've done that one already. This one takes us upstairs. Oh yeah, we still got the... This room we never sussed out. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. So. I don't know what this is supposed to represent. Hmm. Yeah, the room with the projector. Someone tying a sheet of paper on the wall using this makeshift screen. I don't know, man. So there's four things in a row, which could be four buttons. Showing you what maybe what order we're supposed to do things in. But this doesn't seem to have any What's the clue for this, I wonder? I mean there's also this, which I assume is something. Maybe the pieces around here somewhere. I don't think we've seen any of the pieces, have we? Oh. I'm so annoyed. Fuck! Is this implying the order? Because now we can swap this around? So that's implying that it should be 1, 9. So, so far it should be 1, 9, 5, 2. So one nine five two. Then it should be. So one nine five two. So it should be five. Fuck! I have to write this down. I'm gonna fuck this up. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. So we got one nine five two, and then, oops, that's implying that we're moving. Uh, so we'll have five nine one two. Then number three is moving the last two. So that'd be. Five nine two one. The last one was over here. And we're moving the top the So five nine two one, then it's gonna be uh two nine one five. Did I ask this? The last two So it should be five nine two one. Then this should be swapping five with two. So two nine. No, fuck. One nine two five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just fucked up. Yeah, it's really good so far. Like, how's the road? What in that? I was not expecting that. I don't know why I'm surprised this place has secret rooms. It looks like the least weird thing about it. You'd be surprised how common those are. Deal with a lot of secret passages and such as a detective, do you? Well, normally it's less elaborate. Panic rooms are still popular, for instance. But more often than not, it's like, say, an old office or a bedroom. They get boarded up and forgotten about before the place was sold. Ever find anything cool? Mm. I did once get called in by a school. They found an old room in their basement while renovating. Two bodies, well, skeletons, really, at that point. Both in chairs, opposite an old standing mirror. Cracked right down the middle. You're kidding. I am not. They were so old, it's impossible to tell what happened to them. The official record is some sort of suicide pact, given the symbols drawn on the floor around them. People have always been strange, Alex. That's still super creepy, though. Like, real Bloody Mary stuff. What? Like, ghosts? It's never ghosts or monsters, Alex. It's always people. People do the worst, most terrifying things you can imagine. I can't tell if you're the scariest person I've ever met or the most boring. I get that a lot. Still stuck on the same mechanic? Oh, nightmare. Are you still trying at the moment? Are you having a breather? A full digit combination doesn't have a lot of possibility. That's also true. You can just wing it, can't you, eventually? Sealed and covered. I'm not digging through all of those when I have to.
What should you do for your hundredth sub video? It's hard to say. It depends on what your normal content is. Just do your normal content, but something a bit more spectacular, I guess. I like Taurus too. She's fun. A chalk outline, an unfinished door, maybe. I oh, got a new slide. I guess we can put. Oh, sealed and covered. I'm not digging through all these. I don't have to. Let's do the slide then. More alchemical numbers or symbols. Three, seven, ten, one, six, twelve. Well, that's new. Guess I answered my question. Oh. It isn't showing us this is what the symbols are. So one is this symbol, six is the Mercury symbol, and twelve is that one. And then we have to extrapolate from those symbols and what order those in what these are, I'm guessing. Maybe? They ran into secret rooms at work. There's definitely weird corridors that people don't use. We got a weird corridor called the Hot Corridor. That's just like a really warm... It's like probably near some heating pipes or something. But it's like a random corridor with no windows and doors, really. That you can crawl into. That's quite spooky, I guess. Let's have a look. So, one is this. Fine. Twelve is that. Which is accurate, yes. And six is that. Fine, so with that, we can work out it's one, two, three, four. No, we can't. Shit. That's supposed to be six. Is that the right symbol? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's fine. So, it's three, seven, ten, right? What have we got here? Another projector slide. And some weird looking statues. That's the door. Someone's hanging a sheet on the wall, right? The small statues sit perfectly onto this board. What am I meant to do now? Do they change the light? Yeah. Do we then do we need to match it up so that this Yeah. Not butt plugs. What's with the shape? It kinda of looks like a door. Na 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 What was that? Hello? Someone there? Huh. Cause one I heard. Holy fuck! The lights! Come on, stupid, stupid flashlight. Why are you dead now? Okay. Okay, deep breaths. It's fine. <laughs> Hello? Marvin? I'm fine. Just find the door. I can't find the door. There's nothing on the wall. What? I... I just can't believe it, officer. Are you sure it's her? Who? No, my little girl, my little Alex. Is is that Grandma? I can't believe she's gone. The, the body was so. I, are you sure? No, Gran, I'm here. I'm like right here. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. My little girl, my sweet little girl. I mean, I should have put a grandma voice like. Like the. I was talking to Bethany about it, like the fucking old lady from Worms. <laughs> But I should have expected it. She was always sticking her nose where it didn't belong. I always told her, one of these days, someone was going to cut it off. <laughs> Evil cackling, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Oh my god. What? The door, I swear it wasn't here a second ago. Na -na -na -na. And where did that one come from? I must be seeing things. Vincent, this is your mother. Am I Vincent? Fuck you, Vincent. A planetarium. Oh, that's quite nice. 
What's going on? First my flashlight dies, and then the secret door opens to... I'm not sure exactly. What is this? A planetarium? Are you kidding me? Tori's got to hear about this. You will not believe what I found. You know that's not true. No, no, I mean, like, really, it's just... You okay, Alex? You sound rattled. Did something happen? No, no, it, it's fine. It's... Nothing happened. Look, I found my way into what looks like a planetarium. Okay, you got me. That's actually a little surprising, even for this place. There has to be some sort of trick to it. Unless it's playing on some sort of laser rock show I'm missing out on. Ha, huh, I wish. It's a pretty empty looking room. I'll give it a once over. Shouldn't be long. Famous last words. Don't even joke about that. Oh, sorry. Are you sure you're fine? I'm I'm fine. I'll call you if I find anything. A lot of books. Unsurprisingly, all about stars. Stars. Yeah, see that three the three stars there? That's a belt. That ain't a fucking belt. You're lying to me. A lockbox with no clear way to open it. Oh no, and a peacock door. Fucking peacocks. Registry book added. Okay, what's this? Jonathan Parker, James Patrick, Jason Pond, Jeffrey Pataliki, and Jacob P. No, to ever thought it'd be fun for everyone to have the same initials as a moron. It's kind of funny. Notes. A note ring binder. An empty ring binder. Which has the N on that side and the S on that side with the whale and a, some sort of fucking giraffe. Disturbing. Oh, an alligator. Sorry. A note. Taurus, Carina, Cetus, Orion, JP. Written in blue ink. Looks like the back and forth between two people. The first are written in red ink. John, please be more careful. There is no 24th month. The second in blue. Jeffrey, I tell you this every single time. It's day, month, not month, day. You're always getting the dates wrong. Delicious. We've solved it. Even the game's telling us the quick around. Fine. Is there anything else we can have a look from? I haven't been in the room yet that doesn't have enough drink to throw a party. Is there anything over here? More notes. Green ink. Lyra, Aquila, Hydra, Cetus, Serpents. Some thoughts written down in the back. Whoever this was is frustrated. Jonathan is pig headed. If we could only meet in the middle, I'm sure we'd find the answer. Speaking of the day, day, month, month, year, year is objectively better. Well, I mean, yeah. No, Vera, right, that's degenerate. Is it is it only America that does day? Is it does month day rather than day month? The school stang. Does uh, does Canada do it as well? I don't know if Canada Canada does it. We do, sadly. Fools! Alright. Oh, this is going to be bum, isn't it? A diagram. There's a crude drawing of a pig on the back. Someone's drawn a diagram and taken notes. They don't believe me, but I figured it out. This is it. And then we got this. Blackboard is covered in conversation and notes. The eagle, wolf, pig, and whale are circled. They've been labelled too. Aquila, lupus, monoceros, and cetus. This looks important. I better make a note. Hmm. So I guess we're supposed to match up, but... I guess we're supposed to look at what. So Cetus 12, 7. 
That's my birthday. But they got Cetus 10-9 there. That's not my birthday. So John is... John's blue, Jonathan Parker, I guess. Jason Pond is the green. Jonathan is pig-headed. If only we could meet in the middle. I guess that's the clue, right? Hmm, this is gonna be a tricky one, I think. Sorry, man. I, uh, like I said, I retired, dude. Hmm. Pretty fancy. You no, know, I just stuff my on. I just toss all my stuff on the old standby, the laundry chair, which is what I call the chair in the corner of my bedroom. I respect that. Is that north and south? As in unicorn and... Monoceros and Cetus. So Monoceros and Cetus. So this is, I guess this is telling you what Monoceros is, right? Is the implication this is Monoceros? But how do we match this up exactly? Let's go. Because these are the different constellation signs, for sure. So is that Monoceros? I guess we try and find out what that is. The M with a 9 and a 10 next to it? I guess. I don't know what that really, that second one Im implies there. Like that, maybe? Yeah, with the nine up next to that, like like so. I mean, that's that's accurate to what that is. But it, oh, I see. You can toggle the lock north. I see. Okay, you can actually toggle them. Interesting. Okay. So we know that Monoceros is north, right, from this picture. So this is north. Twenty-one oh five. Let's see what that does. That link up to anything. There's no Monoceros on here, in fact. So we have to link th with that. So that looks like... T is that Tauros? So Monoceros, I guess, is... That looks like 9 and 10, right? And that looks like 18 and something, maybe? 28, maybe? 28 and a dash? Twenty-eight one. Twenty-eight one. So I wonder what this one's implying. So we 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 can know we know that whale and Monoceros are north and south. So let's do those first. This is south, right? And the whale is Cetus. 
Cetus is either 10-9 or 12-7. The invocation to meet in the middle, 11-8? Is, is that the is that it? If we could only meet in the middle, I'm sure we'd find the answer. The middle between 10-9 and 12-7 is presumably 11-8. Is what I'm taking away from that. I think that seems like a reasonable assumption. They all have the whale on them. D did that do that before? It's all very squiggly and a bit hard to read. That's the problem. The, the, like, the stuff here isn't very clear because of the graphic style, which makes it a bit trickier, I think. I mean, that's the... I think North and South being... Monoceros and Cetus, right, is, is, is I guess, the clue here. And we've done that. We've locked north and we locked south. This image gives us Monoceros at 9 and 10 with an M. And I guess that's Tauros, I would assume. No. It, no, I guess not. A bird, Aquila. So we need Lupus and Aquila. So how do we know what sign is what? Maybe that's one of them? Both lot pictures of whale. I know, but I'm not sure why that is the case. When they shouldn't be, right? Oh, wait, what? Wait, did it just rotate the entire thing? Am I just stupid? I would have thought that it locked it at whatever you did it at. Wait, how does the locking function work then? I'm, I don't, that doesn't make any sense. I figured that the locking function would lock in the one you did it on. Let's try again. Okay, so we want... Let's get the picture then. So we want M, 9, and 10. And the other one's 11 and 8, right? Yeah. So that's 5. Look at that, 2105. Which gives us nothing. No symbol at all. But that's still locked on the whale. So that must be wrong then. It must be the clue. Maybe it moved up one? No? No. A different M maybe? I would say M E nine ten. Or we have the horns twenty eight one. Maybe it's that one. M E? Maybe it's that scroll. I want east, am I? Oh you f fuck's sake. We want north, don't we? That's why. Fool! Okay. What a dick. Is there any other symbols that look like... It's just that one, I guess. No, it's not giving us anything there. Anything changing on the ceiling? I don't think so. At least not that I noticed. Well, let's try the other one, then. Let's try the other one. Which is... Horn 28-1. Let's see what that comes out as. There. Well, 28 to the left of it, really. So it needs to be down one. Oops. Like that. Man, I don't get the fuck. This is a bit squiggly. I don't like how the picture isn't lining up with what I can see. 
this is it. Like, that's in the middle of the two plates, which makes no sense according to this. May need M on the right side and the hoarder's symbol on the left and match the numbers. What do you mean on the right side? Do you mean east and west? I don't quite follow what you mean on that one. I need one picture to lock into place. That's what I'm trying, but the other is not showing up with the clue. We got the whale at south, Cetus, which I think is correct. Give us a clue, Noble. Am I on the right lines? Is this is this the right sort of thing we're trying to do? Because this seems a bit odd. This seems to be the solution of what the picture's calling for, but that doesn't seem to be right. Do you mean in between these two is the, is what the middle is? So, for example, so horns should be like over here somewhere, and M should be there, and then we want like this. Like that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we got Monoceros locked in. Hey, Froggy. Okay. Right. Fine. That's that one. Nice. So we need Aquila and Lupus. <laughs> So Aquila is 6-5, but we don't have an Aquila on this one. Hmm. Alright son, James Pond is a good man, agreed. Robocod. Welcome in peeps. We're trying to puzzle. This one's a bit tricky though. We've gotten two of them locked in. Though now I'm a little bit puzzled about where we sort of go from here. Because I've sort of run out of... Uh, I've kind of run out of ideas. But yeah, so we have 6-5 for Aquila, but I don't know which, which side it should be on, I guess. If this is accurate, it would be this one. Yeah. There's only two options, that's also true. So how do we get... It's didn't pick clear enough to what the symbol for wolf is supposed to look like. That's the thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, it looks like a wolf to me. Yeah. But I don't know whether you can just wing it. Literally. What's the first book? Observation Committee. Any other notes around? Ah! Aha! Good shout. <laughs> we missed a note. That would certainly help, wouldn't it? And we know that John John in red gets it wrong. So we have to... So Lupus is going to be the, like, 8-3 then, I guess. Nothing changed, so... Maybe the other way around. Hey. That was a tricky one. 
Good work, uh, good work for helping me figure that one out, folks. That was quite a tricky one. That did it, the lockbox opened up. Na 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 na. That's a little bit messy because of how ugly the sort of uh, symbols are, I think. I think that could. Like, of all the things that need a little, be a little bit clearer, it's probably this one, actually. But Right, we got the peacock door. Hey, the planetarium's down. Found a key with a bird on it. I think it's a peacock? And we just so happen to know what door that opens. We do? We pass the door with a peacock on it when we're looking for a way out. Oh yeah, it'd be on my right when I get back to the main hall. That's the one. You should check it out. Got it. Lions. Lions and tigers and peacocks in my... I was about to say, this hallway seems a bit long. It could be another squiggly mode, a bit more legible, that's true. There's a garden scene for just this puzzle. Oh, really? I think once I got the general gist of what we were doing, it wasn't so bad, but, like, that, that, it being in the middle of the thing was a bit tricky. This hallway seems long. Should I be able to see a door by now? Oh, it's fine. Wait. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I just hear it turned around. I mean, it is pretty dark here, and I'm already on edge. Just imagining things, you know. Whew. Keep it together, Alex. Eh, hey, peacock. Another door down. Uh oh. Locked in. Wait, what's that? Wow, this really is sore. Oh, don't just stand there gawking. You're trapped here now. You might as well make yourself comfortable. Um, thank you? Are you really just sitting here? Are you okay? I was. Have you been here the whole time? Can you hear us downstairs? Oh, you've definitely made yourself known. It was just positively peaceful till then. Uh, peaceful, some kind of giant metal death device around your neck. I mean, I assume that's what it is. But it's okay, let me... No, thank you. In fact, I'd prefer if you left. Maybe you could jump down. Excuse me? I require no assistance. I can also say it in French, Italian, and Spanish if I were drilled in. Do please leave me alone. Hey, listen, buddy. No, it's a stressful situation for everyone. Deep breath, Alex. I'm moving past it. Just moving past. Save him. Will he get himself binned? It'd be do oh no, is it Alan? Fucking Alan. Alan Farragut. Alex, is that you up there? Are you talking to someone? Yeah, some guy. Extremely rude. He says he doesn't want any help. He wants me to leave him alone. And I want a cup of coffee and a pepperoni pizza. And we're all suffering. Bring him down here. That might take a second. The door locked behind me. And he's got a scary metal contraption around his neck. In keeping with the theme of the night, I assume it's lethal. That or a terrible fashion statement. Of course he does. Well, I don't care if he wants you to leave him alone. We can't afford privacy in here. He's got to tell us everything he knows. Dr. Farragut wheezes. <gasps> got to quarantine my brother. Hey, the least you can do is tell me who you are. Uh, if you must know, I'm William Jones the Third. You've heard of me? No, but I'm Alex. The First. So, William, you've got a death machine attached to you. Yes, I woke up with this cumbersome thing on. And people tell me I have a tendency for drama. Well, so far every room has had some sort of trick to it. Uh, puzzle? If we can solve the puzzle, you'll be safe. Probably. I see. So far, I have a really good track record. I just need to figure out what the puzzle is, and... I'll stop you right there, young lady. No, thank you. Uh, what? Look, you don't need to be scared. I won't let anything happen to you. If we work together, we can figure this out, I promise. Yes, yes, uh, very touching. My heart is sufficiently warmed. However, togetherness and friendship isn't going to get us out of here. We literally cannot all leave this place alive. Uh, what? How do you... Oh, I know. I just didn't think they would actually go through with it, but why am I surprised? What can you expect from the group willing to call themselves the Tartarus Society? Pretentious asses. I must have been drunk when I agreed to join. I even know your precious puzzle. They left me a note, after all. But I'm not interested in dancing around with their amusement. 
All I need to do is wait until morning. The rest of you can sort yourselves out. Excuse me? Do you say you knew who put you here? No, we don't like Alan Wake. We don't like Alan Wake. He's a weenie. Oh, the second one's out soon, isn't it? I always forget. When is it? When is it out? Let's have a look. Alan Wake 2. Twenty seventh of October, seventeen days until we are Alan waked. Oh. oh no! I did promise to play it. I did. It's just in time for Spooky Day. That's true. Play the DLC for one instead. Oh, I don't want to play more one though either. Maybe two might be good. I enjoyed Control. Alan Wake 2 might be fine. What was in the note? And what do you mean about morning? Mm -hmm. Oh, please stop flailing around. If you must know, the note said to drink my favourite cocktail and relax. Be sure and mix it up just right. You only deserve the best. After all, if you make a mistake, that new accessory of yours will top you off with one final explosive ingredient. Well, screw them and their fancy bloody club. When I get out of here, I'm going to sue them into the bloody grave. Wait, a cocktail? That's it? I can do that. I was a bartender for a while. Of course you were. Well, if you insist on going through with this charade, you can count me out. Do whatever you please. You might have noticed we don't even have the electricity to run the bar appliances. So unless you were also an electrician in that colourful, uh, oh-so-quirky past of yours, do please leave me be. I might not be an electrician, but every room I've encountered so far has a solution. Even if it's not obvious, I'm sure I can figure this out. Look, just do whatever you want, alright? It doesn't matter, just leave me alone. What a dickhead. Save it. Yeah. I really like Control. I really enjoyed it. Like, I thought it was a lot of fun, but I can't stand Alan Wake. No Noble, that's banned. Nice and warm. It'd be cozy if not for the, you know, everything. Oh yeah, look. There's our friendos down there. Hello, friendos. There's music coming out of that. A painting. This is fancy. A bunch of rich old guys knocking it back at the bar of some sort. Wait, is that William? And what's that on the floor behind everyone? Ah, oh, I thought this place looked familiar. My word, they recreated the whole bar. A year back, I had hit some milestone, a net worth of several billion. I'm worth more now, of course, but past a certain point, it's hard to keep track. Sure, I totally get it. Regardless, my friends and I got together to celebrate my business savvy. Ha! We drank the place dry. Every shelf. We even slumbed it and had a pint of beer. Imagine. God, this guy's so one-dimensional. Oh, it's painful. How would you not notice they model this place after the bar? I thought the combat in Control was really solid, and I like the SCP style stuff. I thought that was pretty good. I thought Alan Wake was, like, everything about Alan Wake bored me to tears. Like, from the writing, to the characters, to the setting, like, just everything I thought was just meh. Maybe the two enemies. I mean, Alan Wake had one. Oh, well, two if you count the fucking flying chairs, I guess. To be fair, I was quite drunk. The memories of that night are foggy. Besides, why do I expect to see a bar from the middle of London? One I'd been to once, replicated. Ugh, now I'm remembering. That's the night I had an argument with Harringworth. Looks like he got the last word in after all, nasty old goat. So this is the bar. We got a coffee maker, a water filter, and a mixer. And a keypad. And we got two drink recipes. Recipe cards must have slipped off the counter. They're covered in notes. Useful, I hope. Flower power. Gin, water, and a dash of black currant cordial. Good for when you've got a meeting later in the day. Refreshing, but not too strong. Simple and clean. Rum, apple cider, and a slice of pineapple. Make sure to, the customer is not allergic to pineapple before asking. Uh, adding. Lazy morning. Whiskey, water, cordial of choice. There's no cordial of an equivalent flavour of a liquor as a perfect substitute. The warning, morning drop. 
If anyone asks for a gumshoe, all you have to do is swap the amounts of coffee and whiskey and make sure the drink is served piping hot. Alan Wake had three enemies. Small humanoid, chunky humanoid, and flying object. That's true, actually. That's my bad. I, I, mis I miscounted one. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I personally thought Control held up the entire way through. I thought it was quite interesting. I liked the story and characters, uh, whereas I thought uh, Alan Wake was just a snooze. Alan Wake is a good game. Lies. Lies and slander. Okay, so we got some drinks available to us as well as various bits. A keypad. See if we can spot anything else, shall we? Something's off. Is the rug all crunkled up? Oh, we can move the rug. Ah. What's under the rug? Ow. Hey, it's like in the painting. Art saves the day. A wiring panel. Interesting. Like that, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I guess the yellow signifies the connecting points. I guess we have to get all of them to connect. I guess with the... Like, does that work? I feel it shouldn't, but maybe it does. Maybe that's all it needs, is that? I don't know. Yellow to yellow, or, or yellow to red? The two at the bottom of the power sources, what, th these ones here? Oh. Never mind. Accidentally fixed it. Do you see that? Almost took off my hand. William? Well, at least we're out of the dark ages into the age of electricity again. Good job, I suppose. So I keep telling you it's pointless. And if someone wanted me to leave him alone, you're sure I'm following me around a lot. Look, if you're going to be going through with this, can you blame me for supervising? You're playing with my life, young lady. Well, thanks to your supervision, the power's back. You can have your drink and be out of that device in no time. Confident, are we? You remind me of a little myself when I was younger. Just don't get too cocky. My experience is exactly when the universe decides to turn on you. Well, I plan to keep being a problem for it until it stops being a coward and kills me. Next stop, Drinksville. Oh, we did it! Yay. The glass cover has a grid attached to the surface. Just means something, but what? Okay. Yeah, he has like a collar around his neck, yeah. So we can't get into these. Anything over here that might be useful? I guess I need to decide what drink. A nice looking plant. Oh, we've got a journal here. It's a book William was reading. It looks like a journal. It's scathing. These are his friends? feel kind of sorry for him. I'd probably be a little cranky too. Even if this is a... What does it say? Wow, that's some creative profanity. Oh. A weird cover. These symbols look familiar. It's the grid, I guess, but... He was happily drinking gumshoe after gumshoe like some commoner. A night to remember. Honestly, celebrating five billion is like watching a monkey dance after being thrown a banana. Oh, now we've got... I mean, that's fine. What am I going to do with that, exactly? Oh, I see! Is that the code? So it's telling me what the code is for the for the door. I guess. Which, unfortunately, doesn't match up with what I see here. Don't arm the monkey. If he has a gun, you've got to point at it, right? What do they pull with Humble, Rufa? 
Combine the symbols? Oh, yeah, okay. The symbols in the square combine to the code. So the two arrows would be, if we're assuming this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I guess. Well, it's only a four digit number, right? So top left, left and bottom right. Makes an eight if you layer them. How would you get... So I can see obviously you like matching up together, but what? how would you get the sequence exactly? You combine them to see which wires make a number. So how do you designate the number? Lude. Right, so you need to know it's top left, middle left, and bottom middle. The first one comes an eight. Oh, do you mean with the actual line? So if you stick all the lines together, you get an eight simply because it's got... It looks like an eight when you put them together. Is that what you mean? Like, it's a five. Yeah, I was about to say it's not an eight then, yeah. So you basically do the yellow to yellow. What's my favourite pizza? Um, I like pepperoni pizza, probably, if I had to pick. Though I do like um, chicken and sweet corn. That's quite nice, too. Candy corn's alright. A bit too sweet for my liking, though. So the next one would be... The top one and the bottom one. So that would be... Is that a four? You reckon a six? Hold on, where's paint? It's gonna be easier to draw it's easier for me to draw this out, I think. Hold on, let me get you up on here. So Oh I can't, that's annoying. So it's a circle, dot on the thing. So you're looking at the top one, which does that. And then that. Do you include the line in it? So the, the line is also part, the white line is also part of it. No, it doesn't work either. Just the lines. I wonder if this aligns then. Hold on. Am I, am I misunderstanding something? So you do... The top one would be yellow to yellow like that. So it's... Where'd you get the four from? I'm being confused. I didn't see this, sorry. Like I I know what you're saying, but I'm I feel I'm being very silly and very stupid and I'm not seeing seeing the pattern. 
Like, I understand what the thing is, but I can't see the number out of that. I don't see how you'd make a six out of the second one. The front cover of the book shows how to connect the lines. Second is four. Combine two and nine by connecting the yellow bits. That's why I just drew out in paint, and I just didn't get anything. So I connect the yellow bits. If I draw a circle on the yellow bits there, and I'm just drawing this on paint. And then I do the yellow bit here and the yellow bit there. And if I remove the line that isn't yellow, like so. I don't I don't really get six out of that. Or four. You layer the... Lude. It's a seven segment display like a microwave. My microwave is a dial, am I being stupid? <laughs> you layer the read... The, you, layer, you layer the read lines on top of each other in, a re, in relative positioning, not by collecting the arrows. Yeah, because I'm sorry, I, I'm more than happy if you guys had like sold me the thing, but I, I, I want to understand it as well. And I, I know I'm being very stupid here, but. So it's saying you connect this, if you connect to this one and this one, you get four. Okay, let's have a look at it. How, so how would I get four? So that one, and that one to get four. So... I know how four works, obviously, but how did I... The way it's doing it's four is like... Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. No, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't do my fours like that and I'm confusing myself. Okay, hold on, sorry. This, this is greatly confusing me, but I think I know why. Right. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Like, hold on. Hold on. Let me get paint out a minute. I want, I want you to see this. Can I show that window capture for paint? Is it big enough? Should I zoom it in? Right. So, you can probably see it there. That's... Well, I do fall like that. And I... Sorry, that was me. That was me. That's that's totally on me. I'm sorry. I, I, I completely follow now. I completely follow now. No, I, I mean, I either do four like that or like this. Like, th that's four for me. Like, so four is not... I've never done four like that. That So, but I, I understand why it's doing it now. Right, right. Okay, that that's... That's my fault. Like, I, I get it. I get it. Sorry, I thought... I I mean, I am a kind of dim, but like... Like, I just... I've never done a four like this, but I, I totally get it now. It's like, you know, you can do A, or you can sort of... Right? Right, so for me, it's like, I don't know, am I doing my numbers weird? Like... Like, that's how I would do. Oops, missed. Right.
It's like the old digital alarm clocks. Yeah, I just didn't just didn't even twig. I didn't even twig. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that's that's so irritating. I just I I just couldn't comprehend and you guys are like it's 4. It's 4. I'm like what the fuck? I I'm just looking at this thing like how is that 4? I just don't get it. Cuz again, like if you even if I did like no, nothing would have uh, made me twig to this fucking Y looking thing is four. No Ys, only fours. What the fuck? Deeply upsetting. That is distressing. Your two looks like someone drunk. I don't know, I've always, like, again, I've always done, like, some people do threes like this as well. Depends how you're taught. As opposed to, or you can do it like. It's like um, they teach you to do S like this, so rather than uh, asking us like that, but. Lewd. You're mimicking a digital display, yeah. When you kept saying right, like Vera kept saying, people were saying microwave, right? And I was sitting there like microwave, and I was just looking at it, and I was like. Microwave, and I was going, am I going fucking insane? I was thinking microwave, right? This is my microwave. It's got a little dial on it. And I'm like, it's a microwave display. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I thinking? What, like, mine goes like one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> and I was like, a microwave display, what the fuck are you talking about? I've got a dial microwave, yeah, yeah, yeah. A digital alarm clock would have been. Yeah, I might. I don't know. I might have sort of twigged a bit. Oh god, that's that's kind of painful actually. Sorry. I, like probably watching that was like everyone's like, "What is wrong with you?" And I'm just in like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, because it makes a bit of sense because digital alarm clocks do it like this, don't they? Because they have to use straight lines. You like, so like, uh, you got di digital alarms are all like. Wah, wah. All right, fine. I'm with you now. Hold on, I didn't do tradition. All right, we're good now. Thank you. All right. All right. So where were we? So what are we testing out? So we've got the first one, which is... Let's, let me have a look at this again, see if I can be less hustlers. Yeah, so you got five, and then you got four. And then what's the next one? The Jupiter sign. So the Jupiter sign is the squiggle there. And that one. So that would be... Eight. No, two, sorry. Jesus, not eight. Hustlers. And last one is the two triangles. Three. Yeah, okay. Alright. After 10,000 years, we're free. It's time to conquer Earth. Okay, what do we have here? Whiskey, rum, and apple schnapps. Might as well grab it all. -da -da -da. We've got a couple of empties too. Apple cordial and filter water. The cordial bottle's no good to me. But the water bottle might come in handy. And coffee. Yeah, it's it's surprisingly difficult to look at crab, isn't it? Without doing it, sometimes like it's a bit it's a bit awkward. F for anatomy. Wait, why do I get F for anatomy? I mean, what you you didn't like my penis, pumpkin? I thought you'd love the penis. Wait. I thought it was an anatomically correct penis. It'd be fine. Pumpkin's a harsh art teacher. That's true, actually. 
This is a big ask and a quick summary of the story. Overview, uh, us and all these people have been locked inside a murder mansion like Saw. Each room has a trap and we are trying to discover who has kidnapped us and why and if there's actually spooky shit going on. That's the, that's the long and short of it. Murder Manchuan, yeah. If you want ladies to like drawn Venus, draw it good. That's true, I'm sorry. I should have drawn an, a, a correct cock, not a tiny little one ejaculating over the number two. Never mind. Saw doesn't have murder mansions, they have grimy locations. They, they, ha they have the gas house, I guess. Okay, so how do we know which is which drink we should use? Hey, I've got into the drinks cabinet. Can't do much without knowing what I'm meant to be making. You got the journal. I know you've read it. Right, didn't think you'd want to talk about it. And why is that? It's mostly your friends ridiculing you. Friends? I don't care about friends. I'm not a six-year-old child. Okay, well, it sure seemed like those, like that, they, like what those people were jo wrote about you upset you. I'm not upset. I'm exhausted, angry, thirsty, and not in any mood to be psychoanalyzed. Look, just finish whatever you're doing and get this over with. When I'm out of here, I'm gonna have a talk with some acquaintances of mine. Especially that jealous bastard Robert. If anyone wanted to vote me in, you can bet it was for him. Voted you in? How democratic. Well, uh, I imagine that's how it works. All this for talking to some lady. I'd barely drunk anything. What? Oh, never mind that. My point is that it mentions me drinking a cocktail called the gumshoe. That's the drink. It must be. Whether they hated me or not, it was certainly a night to remember. That's great. Pretty sure I saw a gumshoe mention one of the recipe cards. It'll work out. That seems too easy, right? You thought he was peeing? Oh, come on, guys. Come on. I was, I was taking... It was like me and Rufa going on a trip to pick. We're going to pick. Pee is stored in the bulls, it's true. Where else would you put it? Alright. Because I like doing cliffhangers, before we hand the drink to William and bin him, or not bin him, I'm going to save it here and stop. And then next time we will decide whether we bin him or not. Or if there is any binning to be heard. I guess we'll decide what we're going to do with him. This is good. The The only thing that was a bit tricky was, I'd say the planetarium puzzle was a bit, uh... The planetarium puzzle was a little bit fiddly because of the graphics, and I think the Doctor puzzle was a little bit, um, messy due to the sort of mechanics of it, but otherwise it was alright. Bin him for fun, then reload and save him. Maybe we will, we'll have to decide. I think binning him for a giggle would be laugh. You educate me, Pumpkin. I need to draw the liquid thicker, not in a straight line. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Karen's clit. Oh, nice! It's got a T-junction there suddenly, got, it's got a dead end, you can't go there. We ready mix. All right. What's the mix plan? Mm, there we go. Let's go see loads of mix. I actually need to check the vod and see how far they got with loads of pee. The night. So. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see y'all tomorrow for some. Well, probably more loads of pee actually. And uh, the puzzle's been a little bit of a doddle, so ramp up was appreciated, but also not great the way it ramped up. Yeah, it, they're a bit they're a bit too much of a doddle, yeah, I agree. But um They were a little bit fiddly. Love the lot of you, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon, alright? Do take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace everyone, Jin Jin!